In this demonstration, we're going to learn about working with complex recipes and complex cookbooks, assigning them to roles. Different servers in your infrastructure may perform similarly, like an HTTP server, a failover server, maybe a load balancer, or a database server. Rather than assigning them individual cookbooks, you can create a role for them. Let me go into the roles folder in my Chef repo. You can create roles in two different ways, JSON files or Ruby files. If you look in your roles folder, you'll find a sample JSON and Ruby file. Let's open up the starter RB Ruby file for a role. This example is created for you when you build your Chef repo. We can build our own JSON files and our own Ruby files and put them in the roles folder if we have to assign roles for specific servers. This includes a role called starter, a description, and we have the run list. So let me save this and let's call this role HTTP server. Now all the HTTP servers or all the web servers that we have in our chef configuration will be assigned this role. Well, let's change the name of the role from starter to HTTP server. The run list is important because it's the run list of this role, like say a specific recipe. But with the role, we can assign multiples. We're going to put in just web server for the run list for this role. But we could put in as many recipes as we want, and then we could put in all of our override attributes. We're going to leave this one default for now. Now this is a very simple role. I only have one recipe in the run list. Our web servers could have a dozen or maybe even more recipes that we would want to configure, but we'll keep this one simple. So we can see our new role, HTTP server RB. We need to add this role to the server so the server knows about it. Let's make sure we have the cookbook correct before we upload it. And whoops, it looks like we've got a slight mistake here, or we got a naming convention problem where we need to go into our role and change our run list, which is fine. Remember, this run list has to correspond to cookbooks that are either on your system or are going to be on the server. Let's upload this to the Chef server and issue the command to do it. So let's go back a folder and go up one to roles. The simplest way to get this role up to the server is by using the knife utility. We can issue knife role from file, and then we put in the path to the file and the file name. Since we're in the same folder as our role, we don't need to put the path. This command will upload our role from our local file on our workstation, and it will send it all the way up to the Chef server, where a message updated role HTTP server appears. We then add the role to the run list. You can add specific cookbooks to a run list for a node, or assign the role to the node, which is basically a set of cookbooks. To see the nodes that are on the system, you can issue a command to do so. Let's issue the command knife node list to list our nodes, then choose the preferred node and add this role to the run list, either from knife or from the chef server. We add this role to the specific server, then simply run chef client, and we're all done.